It's 8 a.m., people. It's time to change the channel. Welcome to Squawk Box Radio, the place where nothing real happens, and I care very little what you think about that. Today in the news, we see that the wheels on the bus are still going round. City unsure why sewer smells. <laughs> Fire crews called out for seeing smoke in the sky. It turns out to be clouds. And forecasters call for weather today. I'm your host, STDJ, the DJ that just won't go away. Today, our guest is still Travis Clark. Welcome back, Travis. It's good to be back again. Only two more times and you get a free ice cream. Really? Well, I'm sure the producer could hook you up with that. It's coming out of your pay. Well, you cheap little ass... Holy crap, we have a phone call. Go ahead, caller. What's your question? Quiet down, Mom. I'm on the radio. Okay. When did Travis meet Becky? Well, thanks a lot, caller. That's a great question. Thank you for calling. Do I win a prize? You win information. Does that count? Sorry, caller. We seem to have been disconnected. I would have given her a bumper sticker at least. Oh, sure. You'll give her a bumper sticker, but you won't buy this man an ice cream? But, Travis, how about it? When did you meet Becky? It was a long time ago. Oh, here we go again. I was in junior high. I was in French class. Of course you were. But hey, everyone needs a French kissing class. I was sitting in class, the first day waiting for it to start, when this beautiful sight walks into class. Long blonde hair, sundress, tiny freckles on her face, and she approaches me and says, Is the seat taken? I like to sit near the front. With my voice crackling, I mustered up the best response I could. It's a chair. Becky smiles and sits next to me. I'm excited about this class. I've been practicing all summer. I thought to myself, okay, who practices French, and especially during the summer, and who does she practice it with? All right, class. Settle down. Time for roll call. I'm Miss Han. When I call your name, please stay here. The teacher starts calling off the names. Adams. Here. Beach. Here. My mind starts to wander thinking about this girl. Clark. Clark. Excuse me, but according to the name on your book, that's you. Clark. With a crackling voice, I yell, That's me! <laughs> Settle down. I know you're excited, but tone it down a little bit. Okay, well, Travis Clark is here. Let's continue. Davis, here. Etcher. Here. I thought to myself, who is this beautiful angel sitting next to me? And finally, Williams. Here. So her name was Becky Williams. I said to myself, nice to meet you, Becky Williams. I'm Travis Clark, and I think I'm in love with you. And with that, my producer is telling me we have to go to break. So let's hear from our sponsors, shall we? Do you like watching a channel where no one knows what's going on? Where variety is all over the place because I'd rather be a little weird than all boring? And tune in to Bone13's channel where after you show up and stay a while, you will be more confused about life and gameplay. Come in and sit down. Relax and yell at your screen because Bone is going to do something wrong. Bone may actually do something right or funny, but it's not guaranteed. Do you ever feel lost in the woods? Do you ever feel alone with nothing to do? Then book your stay at the Lazy Bear Lodge, a place that offers nothing but bugs and some of the doors don't even work. A place where you can leave it all behind. The Lazy Bear Lodge is your place to kick back now. Taxes and shovels to bury bodies, not included with press. And we are back. We are here with Travis, and he's telling us this riveting story of how he met his wife in French class. Please continue, Travis. So we introduced ourselves and I found out that she is amazing with French. She probably knew more than the teacher. I'm sure you practiced a lot of French with each other. You got really good with your tongues. Not yet. 
She was dating this other kid, but we got to be really good friends, which was good because we got to know each other. We found out each other's likes and dislikes. I remember this one time at band camp. I didn't take band, but anyways, I was walking her home. She lived about a mile from me. I understand you didn't have a license yet. No buses? Parents picking you up? I don't know. We always walked. Rain, snow, sun. We just walked. Practicing to work for the mail? Anyways, we were walking, and it started to rain. Normally, this wouldn't be a problem, but today, she was wearing white. Travis, we need to get out of this rain. It's not raining that bad. Travis, look at me. I turned my head to look at her and saw that her bra was showing through and her underwear had little hearts on it. I didn't know what to do, so I just stood there staring and smiling. Travis. 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 Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I was staring, wasn't I? Come on, goofball. I need to get out of the rain. I took off my jacket and gave it to her so she could cover up, and we ran to this barn. I opened the barn doors and we went inside. It was completely dark, and I accidentally brushed against her chest. I started sweating and getting even more nervous. She didn't say a thing. I know that she knew I did it. Moments later, we found an old gas lantern. I lit it and saw her face again. At this moment, I knew that I was going to marry this girl. We waited out the storm, and I continued to walk her home. Travis, we don't need to tell anyone what happened, right? Something happened? <laughs> She continued to laugh, but I was serious. Did something just happen that I didn't know about? I continued to walk and look down. Oh my gosh, is that what she was talking about? Being embarrassed, I pulled my wet shirt down, but that didn't help the matter at all. I slowed my walk to get behind her, but I kept seeing the hearts. I just stared at the muddy road. Oh, this is classic Travis. I don't know whether to laugh or feel sorry for you. You would have been laughing. But we got to her house and... Thank you for walking me home, Travis. With that, she kissed me on the cheek. I told her I'd see her tomorrow and walked home. While walking home, I was smiling and felt lighter on my feet until... Hey, little brother. How was your first day in school? And why are you all wet? I walked a friend home. It started raining. Where is your jacket? Dad is going to beat you if he finds out you lost it on your first day. I, I didn't lose it. I, I, I just forgot to grab it back. Grab it back? Did you give it to someone? Yes. Man, I would never give anything away. Well, come on. I'll race you home. With that, we started running. I was a little faster than Jackson, so I was ahead of him until I felt his hand on my back pushing me. I lost my balance and fell face first in the mud. He laughed <laughs> as he passed me and beat me home. I walked inside and... Don't you dare take another step. I just cleaned the floors. You're lucky Dad didn't see you. Quick, undress on the porch and get cleaned up. I stripped off my clothes and ran inside the house. I got cleaned up and came downstairs where I saw Jackson and Mom going over the farm bank account records. Jackson was learning the money's management side of the business. Later that day, as I laid awake in bed, I could not help think about what I saw and the kiss that Becky gave me. I'm sure that you were doing other things, too. I know I would have been. Travis, I'm dying to know how you guys got together. But unfortunately, this is all the time we have for today. Tomorrow, why don't we pick up this story some more? Sounds good to me. All righty, folks. This story, I think, is just starting to get good. Let's pay the bills now. Do you ever feel lost in the woods? Do you ever feel alone with nothing to do? Then book your stay at the Lazy Bear Lodge, a place that offers nothing but bugs and some of the doors don't even work. A place where you can leave it all behind. Lazy Bear Lodge is your place to kick back now. Taxes and shovels to bury bodies, not included with price. Thank you for joining us on the tale of Travis Clark. We will see you all tomorrow. Now on to traffic with the DJ Stuck.